moderation, as we are aware, is not something new. It has been it's an age-old value. When we talk about uh, moderation, we talk about tolerance, we talk about acceptance, we talk about compassion. Moderation is has something to do with the way that people are included or excluded from a conversation because the more voices that we have talking about the issues and the problems that uh, we are currently facing as a society together, the better. When we start excluding these voices from the conversation, that's when you can see extremism coming about, taking, a, taking hold, um, having an impact on uh, the world that we know it. 9-11 clearly demonstrated that. There can be very angry people that can have the ability to create a huge amount of disruption and killing to a lot of people. Countries, societies, communities move on the basis of being able to deal with the mainstream and providing the answers to mainstream concerns. Uh, so moderation is about that. In Malaysia is a special case because in Malaysia there's no majority. So there's no one particular group thinks that they can dominate everything. Now I think that made people realize violence doesn't solve that issue. So we have a lot of verbal violence, I call it. People are not happy, but they say it. But they don't go overboard to articulate it in a physical form. And because of that, uh, we are experiencing this moderation where people feel they are in the right position, they're unhappy, they will say what they're unhappy about. And this ability, I think, uh, uh, that makes Malaysia a good example for moderation. There are disparities, there are inequalities in every society and they exist in quite a considerable fashion in Malaysia. But the, the way to solve these problems, we would say, would be to deal with universal values. Universal values means acceptance that nobody should be marginalised. This has had a, a, a huge resonance uh, from many parties. Um, many political leaders have come out in support of this. Since it has got that kind of encouragement, it has been thought by the Prime Minister to then establish a foundation. So we are that foundation. And we, our job is to advocate, disseminate and implement the various programs that relate to moderateness and moderation. GMM is just a tiny factor in this whole uh, in this whole scenario. Obviously, that um, we try our best through the GMM. If you feel that uh, at a local level, the GMM must pick up and push the voices of moderation. Yes, we must do so, and we hope that uh, we are able to play that small but meaningful and hopefully an impactful role of moderation.